This is a HeadGum Original. In 1977, NASA sent two solid gold records into space so that aliens might find them and understand life on Earth. I send greetings on behalf of the people of our planet and friendly wishes to all who may encounter this voyager. Now, we're making new records with our friends. We step out of our solar system into the universe seeking only peace and friendship. We know full well that our planet and all its inhabitants are but a small part of this immense universe that surrounds us. Hello from the children of planet Earth. Well, 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 well. <laughs> What we have here. Look what the cat dragged this in. This isn't Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're wondering what happened to Caleb. Because <laughs> that looks a lot like EJ. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Seriously. EJ, it is me, EJ. Welcome to the podcast. Hey, thanks, Shelby. This is going to be an experiment <laughs> in what it feels like to be both a guest <laughs> and a host. Such a good point. Yeah. The only person to ever do that is Grace Kulenschmidt. <gasps> because once she filled in for Caleb when he was gone. Totally. Yeah. I think I'm going to sort of toe the line. I'm going to waffle. I, okay. I just wanted to figure out a way to use the word waffle. And thank you for doing it. Uh, what I want the <laughs> listeners to know is that I was going to try and lie to you, but I've decided not to. Okay. We are recording this after we already recorded the episode. <laughs> <laughs> we know exactly what e is about to happen to you. <laughs> and usually we don't. <laughs> usually we are as oblivious to what's coming <laughs> as you are. Not today. Um, so how'd it go? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you guys buckle up. I mean, it's going to get – I don't want to – I don't want to say. EJ cried a couple of times. Yeah, was, there was a couple. Yeah, I mean, you know me. Waterworks. <laughs> um, <laughs> they, yeah, they call me Water Park. <laughs> um, so get ready for those sorts of memories. <laughs> What's the Water Park called at Six Flags? No one in the room knows. I actually don't know. <laughs> No, I there's a name. I didn't grow up to go, going to Six Flags. I went to an indoor water park in Clackamas, Oregon. Um, was it called Great Wolf Lodge? It was. Ugh, I, I wish. <laughs> Me too. It was called like the Rec Center. I don't know. It was like the Rec Center's it weird water park. It was called the park. Rec. <laughs> <laughs> it was called the, the JCC. It was <laughs> was a little and it was one something. lap pool. <laughs> <laughs> Hurricane Harbor. That's what they call EJ. Yeah, yeah. They call me Hurricane Harbor. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. No, EJ uh, did really amazing. You're going to really love what you hear. <sighs> That's a, thank You're gonna you. You're going to love the way you look. I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> um, how's, how's everything going? How's yeah. your week? My week? What oh, day is it? Thursday. It's, yeah, where are we? For um, us. Not for you. Ooh. It's Friday for you, probably. TGIF, Unless you're listening you late. guys. Um, <laughs> weeks ahead. <laughs> yeah, but eventually it'll be a Friday. <laughs> we yeah, hope. If something, here's what I will say. If something bad happens in the world and we didn't address it, <laughs> it's because we recorded this really long before. So If we go to war with China yeah. <laughs> between now and when this episode drops, <laughs> we didn't know it yet. Mm -hmm. Nancy Pelosi just got back from Taiwan. She literally just got back. <laughs> she so, might still be on the plane. It's like we don't, like, we are living in a state of... Euphoric bliss. Yeah, like, there's you, nothing. Remember how you felt on where we're at today, which is, I think, like the fourth. And on the fourth, <laughs> you were just like, LOL, Nancy Pelosi maybe just started World War III. And if we're in it, yeah. we didn't so know sorry. that yet. We couldn't know that yet yeah. because it didn't happen. And neither of us can predict the future. No, we can't time travel yet. And I, <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, so I just want to apologize for. <laughs> for potentially for not potentially addressing being really, the really world insensitive. Three that yeah. we're in right now. That's the last thing I want to do. Thank you, by the way, do. for listening whilst I guess yeah running. <laughs> 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 and I think it's important that you do listen because it's always important to put a little joy into your life, yeah. even when things are really bad. <laughs> yeah, take care of yourselves. <laughs> uh, self care. Self care is 
Super big, yeah. It's huge, or it was when we were recording this. Yes. <laughs> so back in, yeah, whenever we recorded this. Um, when we recorded this, self-care was really in. The, di- the rhetoric was constantly <laughs> shifting, but exactly. at that moment, self-care was really in. Yeah. yeah, and so maybe it'll be like, if you're taking care, if, if you're doing self-care, that's selfish. Okay. Okay. We, we didn't, didn't know. know that. <laughs> we did not know. I promise you that. Yeah. If it turns into you have to do other people care. We will sure. probably go with the flow on yeah. that. Yeah. But right now, yeah, you know us. We're not going to do a different thing. You know, like we're, we're going to be doing the right drum thing. Yeah. Kind of. No, duo. we beat the drums of everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm marching to the beat of whoever's drumming. <laughs> Somebody's drumming. I'm marching. I'm yeah, not. So, I promise yeah. you this. I'm not grabbing a stick. No. <laughs> <laughs> God, if the river's flowing, I'm not swimming against the no. rain. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm headed. I'm not a salmon. No, I, no, you're not. Salmons go upstream. Did no, you know I that? know. I'll, yeah. I'm Did from you guys Oregon. know that? Yeah. I learned that from Futurama. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I actually, growing up in Oregon, we had many, many school units on salmon. It was like every <laughs> single year. I'm not kidding. For us, was a refresher on that. salmon. Yeah. Yeah. In so. Ohio, we were more focused on, like, I think, how many presidents were born there. Sure. A lot. That Most explains of a lot state, about I'm pretty you. sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, all you Ohio freaks out there. Little Ohio freaks. Presidential. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, and obviously, presidents have always been good. Oh, jeez. Again with the, <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> Shelby's thinking a lot about America today. No, I'm not actually. I almost no. never am. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I kind of forget where I live, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I mean, brother. how's how's your week been, Shelby? I made myself paneer masala the other day for oh, the first time in my, my life. God, I did a pretty good job. What? I was shocked. Ah. I I did the tomato, the onion, the mm. garlic. I put peas in there, which maybe I don't know if that's kosher but it's what i did mm-hmm. um i wanted a veggie in there and when i've bought it places there's usually not that many veggies i think they're kind of like that's for you know yeah i'm sorry yeah you order vegetables if you want them yeah maybe on the side but so i made it i was shocked by how it turned out wow i think <laughs> <laughs> i mean wow so you you ate it and you went wow I made this pretty darn good well yeah i really expected it to be so bad yeah i made it intentionally by myself because I was like, if I make this with someone else, they'll have to eat it. And I don't think I'm going to do a good job. Yeah. But I blew my mind. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so we blew our own mind this week. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, yeah. Oh, I cook, I, I made myself a sausage this morning. From scratch or just in the, on the, on the <laughs> pan? Just on the pan. That's I go, all. I was mm, just trying to like. Next time, maybe get a casing out. Yeah, I'll try. I mean. <laughs> maybe grind some and get a casing out and then come to the podcast and talk about it. <laughs> that's yeah. a little foreshadowing. Yeah. That's a little. We're planting a little seed. And you're only going to know if you listen all the way through this little podcast because <laughs> it happens way at the end, you little freaks. Yeah. And it's going to be good. You're not going to want to miss this. What? Anya gave me a mean look. I really didn't. Yeah. Judgmental, I would call it. I'm not getting in the middle this time. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. Um, I'm just playing a little game today where she gives me a judgmental look, and then when I ask her about it, she acts like I'm bullying. <gasps> <laughs> now she's now she's pissed. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. Anya and I are very close friends. You guys are really close. I mean, it was kind of crazy when she held up that sign that made no sense, and you asked what it meant, and she was like, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I think Anya and I, as friends, mm-hmm. um, she thinks maybe I can read her mind in a way that yeah, I can't. Yeah, because you're because so, we're so, so close. close. Yeah. So sometimes yeah. she's like, <laughs> and she's like, my best friend would understand. Yeah. And I'm kind of like, <laughs> and you're trying your best. She's I can dancing. see. Yeah. She's dancing. <laughs> she's doing a classic dance. Do you remember when it when and I think probably there are groups of people still doing this, uh-huh. but when like there was a yeah. fad of dancing that was kind of just like <laughs> the arms. <laughs> oh, it was big arm centric. So yeah, so for those listening, kind of what Shelby's doing right now is a sort of Don't I would go to desc- YouTube, stay on the app. I would describe <laughs> I would describe it as sort of um a braiding of arms. Braiding, braiding her arms, unbraiding, braiding, and just again. moving them around, and moving them around, yeah. 
do that, but that. Yeah. So I don't really know what that is, but I'm. I do kind of. I've seen people do that before. I know there's the there's the Fortnite that's like. <laughs> is that dabbing? No. Okay, now you've lost me. I completely. Why is <laughs> Fortnite does dances? I've never played Fortnite. I don't understand why they're dancing. Me neither. Is it not a dance game? Uh, yeah, they dance when they, like, kill someone, and then it's like, yeah, they... so. <laughs> Imagine watching a murder, and then after, <laughs> the murder is just like, do, 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 do. yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, that's not what I expected. <laughs> You're on, you're on the war field, first of all. First shocker. Aliens come down to Earth. The war field. They're on a, the, the battlefield. War yeah, field. war field. <laughs> Um, they're on the battlefield. First thing that shocks them, there's like a flautist. <laughs> there's yeah. like a, a musician for the yeah. war. That will always blow my mind why we ever did that. It doesn't make any sense. It's so stupid. Yeah. I, musicians, I love you. You shouldn't be on the battleground. Yeah. You should be protected. You're a protected class in my mind. Totally. That's the first thing I think would shock okay. the aliens. It's like, oh, they're about to fight, so they're playing music. And then how funny would it be if while they were watching it, every time – a, a soldier killed someone. They were just like, <laughs> <laughs> they did a little dancey dance yeah, with the biting the lip. Like, <laughs> yeah. mm. no, the music's already gone because yeah. the flautist comes on and then leaves. So this is just no music, just being like, <laughs> like just feeling it, <laughs> just like another life taken. <laughs> <laughs> No remorse. <laughs> they are dead. <laughs> so. So, yeah. <laughs> this um, is an anti-war podcast. It's an anti-war podcast, yeah. Um, all peace. Nothing but the peace. Peace and All peace and love. For real. So, no, what else has happened this week for you? Well... Um, I don't know if you know this, but, um, I'm, <laughs> I know you don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, the, the, I'm trying to buy a car right now. The, um, su- I know everyone's like, yes, talk more about it. Yeah. So I'm trying to buy a car right now. Um, it's actually the worst time in history to buy a car. I don't know if people know this, but a because little fun fact really for the little freaks. Yeah. They're hard to find because of like, um, right. shipment stuff, yeah. but also, um, I mean, and because of that, the the market's really tight. So cars are actually, for the first time ever, sort of appreciating in value. Like I know it, I'm trying to maybe sell my car because I'm dude. Like, it's a great Wait, time to sell. <laughs> well, the <laughs> freaks know this about me and cars. Yeah, my mom has offered me my grand my di- grandma died, and she had a car, and we it, something about it being like in the will or in the trust or something, whatever, we have to keep it for two years. Okay. At least. And my mom was like, will you take it? And I was like, well, I'd have to sell my car. And originally I was like, that sounds really bad. You could now turn. Now I'm like, now hold on. My car already holds value really well. And now it's going up in value. It's going up in value. Yeah. Dude. So I'd have to take on a, and I know the freaks want me to do it, a little Volkswagen bug convertible, cherry red. I'm, yeah. You, Anya's in favor. You definitely gotta do that it probably gets better gas mileage than your car yeah obviously okay well i'm just saying that's my big thing i <clears throat> a little fun fact about me a little freaks you can know this now <laughs> before you couldn't um i have a my current car is a 1999 volvo convertible um which sounds maybe cool you might be like oh that's awesome but it gets 12 miles to the gallon <laughs> which is less than my Toyota 4 runner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so also note noteworthy is something there's many things wrong with it contributing to the low gas mileage. So um so anyway, all of those beautiful beautiful little factors are causing me to go into used car dealerships and say, "Here's my budget, which is a normal budget. I'm not going to say it. It's a normal budget. It's 200,000. <laughs> <laughs> my budget I, in cash, no. Um I'm like, look, I could finance something quite modest and they're like, we have nothing. And they literally turn away from me and and don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Which really turns on its head the used car salesman like yes. trope of being like, well, let's see what we can get you into. Yeah. <laughs> and being they don't like, even care. This little piece of shit is un- actually unbelievable <laughs> yeah. when you get her on the road. Instead, they're like, we have nothing. Everything is really terrible for yeah. you. They're I, like, 
I don't even want to look at your disgusting face. I'm like, whoa, that's, I mean, <laughs> sure, but okay. Um, I just got, you get really mean to them. You're like, mine? <laughs> People actually go to my pages online to look at my face. <laughs> what are they doing for you? They want to be here for the cars. Right. <laughs> Anya's asking us to wrap up the intro because she has a meeting. <laughs> Anya has had a meeting. Uh, now it's been going on for three minutes. Yeah. Four minutes, six minutes, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oopsie. Oop. <laughs> wee wee Ooh. The ten minute police. Oh, um. yeah, right. This, these classic guys pull up in their cars. Yeah, but Casey didn't give me anything. Oh, he's been texting me like, get them to wrap it up for 15 minutes. You guys text, no, like, for like 45 minutes. you guys text behind our backs or? Yeah, I'm sorry, listeners. We're hearing for the first time. <laughs> That Casey and Anya talk shit about us while we're in the room with them. <laughs> the last time that happened to me, I was 12. <laughs> and mind you, we're trying to make you guys have a little bit of joy in your day. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Nobody wants to laugh. We're in the room sweating hard. <laughs> sweating out of our minds. Drenched. Drenched in sweat. Because we're trying so hard <laughs> to bring a little joy into your lives. Do, do, and do, while do, we're do, doing do, this, do. we're working the hardest we've ever worked. <laughs> Anya and Casey are over there being like, Jesus Christ, when will they shut up? Right. So when you think like, wow, podcasting's probably really easy, just know that it's not. Like, and there's a lot of other things happening in the room. <laughs> and I'm going to cry again. <laughs> and EJ, frankly, just hopped into this and is finding out that sometimes <laughs> it's actually a role in which you get bullied pretty relentlessly yeah. <laughs> and they bring up like personal stuff yeah. like <laughs> they're gonna cut a lot of it i know that <laughs> they've are they're gonna cut a lot of the stuff that they were saying the majority of the were stuff we're saying kind. Uh, and they took like there are things that i've said in passing on this podcast that they seem to have written down to bring up i mean it was bleak and again i know they're gonna delete it so yeah. you're not gonna hear it but it just was messed yeah. up it was messed <laughs> up. It was messed up. Uh, we're going to. I'm just being really unkind today. I guess she's stressed about a meeting, but listen. It's like, oh, okay, let's all meet then if you were so obsessed with meeting. No. What? That's fine. <laughs> it's the first one with EJ. Let it happen. I'm working stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> and then this thing happened. You're not going to believe it. Say, it doesn't make it easier when we have to address what you're saying. <laughs> Anyway, yes, we have a wonderful guest today. So awesome. You know her from being a comedian. You know yeah. her from being a writer. And you know her from being a podcaster. A podcaster. She's got stuff like My Year in Mensa, The Bechtel cast. The Ghost Church. Ghost Church. She's just so I'm funny. So She's writing cool. a book about hot dogs. What? <laughs> <laughs> What could be better Put than that? everything you've got, Anya, together. Anya. <laughs> Anya. I was like, why did you say Anya? <laughs> no, on space, yeah. Put everything, everything you've got on, on your person. our producer, Anya. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hands, fins, and pads together <laughs> for our guest today. <gasps> Jamie Loftus. Sometimes we literally you just don't have Sometimes you I just. Don't you at all. No, yeah, and me to you neither. Yeah, yeah the vibes have been. <laughs> <laughs> the vibes in here have been awesome. Yeah, so as you can tell, the vibes are really good. Are we recording? We're rolling. Yeah, you're ready. Whoa, we're recording. <laughs> whoa, wow, <we're recording. laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow. Jamie, welcome. Hi. Hi. We'll do a whole intro for you. <laughs> Wait, whoa, the camera's on. <laughs> Our intro will be separate. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> we haven't recorded it yet, but I promise you it's going to be so nice. It's going to be so oh crazy. God. <laughs> really stressful to know when the intro is going to happen after you leave because then you're like, the second I leave, then the real impressions are going to come yeah. out. Well, yeah, then I'm yeah. like, and then, so this episode's a little different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this episode, oh, we wanted to have a nice time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can say that. You're going to want to listen alone. I've done that before where like people have like left the studio after a, gu a guest and then like me and my co-host will look at each other and be like, wow, <laughs> no, oh. that one was, that one was brutal. That was, that was difficult. That was <laughs> difficult. And, and so, mm -hmm. yeah. Or people will be like, this episode, we had a different energy. <laughs> um, can, Due to the state of the world. Yeah, things are, yeah. you know, <laughs> so. <laughs> 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 
like yeah. afterwards, and then you have to address it in the end. You yeah, oh like God. you recorded the episode <laughs> January June twenty third, <laughs> June twenty fifth. You record the thing, and you're like June twenty fourth was when they repealed Roe v. Wade. In case anyone didn't know, <laughs> um, and we're kind of wow. joking about it in this episode, and then it turned out it actually really <laughs> yeah. happened. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So we're laughing about the impossibility. Like, I want to note that at some point we do make a couple of jokes about like what if the and we were being kind of tasteless. <laughs> At the time of recording, we did not know what was uh, coming ahead, mm -hmm. and we do regret, but we kept it in. <laughs> we were, uh, to be honest, it was gold. It was really good stuff. Because so. some of those jokes really hit, yeah. and, and we couldn't cut it without it sounding a little weird. Mm -hmm. so. We considered, like, getting rid of this episode, but then we realized, you know, like, this is kind of a chronicle of, like, how we once felt, and right. it's kind of now something from a world that no longer exists. Mm. Yes, and, and also, I think it's really it was valuable. a big guest for us. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if we scrapped the episode, huge bummer, because right. the scheduling of that one took forever. So, um, busy, busy. <laughs> so we did keep it in, but we hope you guys understand that um, we don't feel like how we felt... How we felt a couple of days ago has shifted is how we felt, mm -hmm. and it's not how we feel now. I mean, we feel and? like, and in a way, it Redundating. is. Redundating. <laughs> so we're evolving, and so should you. Have a nice, <laughs> enjoy the rest. Anyway, of this enjoy episode. the episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I was saying this to EJ yeah. earlier, and I just want to sort of pulse check. <laughs> pulse check when you scratch your when you ask someone to scratch your back and they don't put their whole energy into it. Isn't that mm. one of the worst feelings in the world? It's a leading yes. question. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think yes. I was thinking the other day, question. someone had to scratch my, first of all, I purchased on the internet uh -huh. a set of back scratchers <laughs> so I could handle these sets. <laughs> like the claw? Okay. Yeah, this one's bamboo. Ooh. Not to brag. Nice. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, it came in a set of three. You couldn't buy just one. <laughs> like the lengths are different. So I have like, what's one the... in my desk drawer, one in my bedside table, and one in my living room. How big is your apartment? Um, you need to... 700 square feet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, no matter where I am, right. mm -hmm. I'm in our stage <laughs> of relief. <laughs> I, I can always scratch my back. Yeah. And wow. I rely on nobody. That's mm -hmm. comforting in a way. <laughs> yeah. But also if someone came over, I would be absolutely sure that there was zero of them out. <laughs> Maybe one. But no, then also yeah. then, but if you have the wrong person over and then you would have a back scratcher out, it could become a disaster. <laughs> yeah, it could be really. I'm so sorry. Could you describe like the disaster you're imagining? Is that like, what sort of would ensue? I'm imagining like someone coming over who you're like a new friend. A new friend comes over okay, yeah. and you're like gonna have Time lunch for a new friend to discover that I have three pictures, <laughs> <laughs> or for a new friend to like you're like okay it's new there's quirks to this person I'm not aware of and th th one of them would be like they would be like oh a back scratcher and then would just grab it and start using it like that's the scenario I jumped to was someone and, taking your back scratcher and being like and then, oh my god my, I have such an itch <laughs> in my opinion that's gross I would that's disgusting okay so I would be oh, mortified <laughs> so, I don't know if you caught my oh, no. look so that's, that's news to me so noted <laughs> using someone, someone else else's is using back. their back scratcher I think it is a personal use. It's because weird. we're imagining the skin follicles. Well, because the reason skin? your back probably itches is dry skin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Really the back good. is a, a place of your body that is really hard to moisturize. Wait. And so I think that it's really the itching is dry skin. Do you use it on your bare back? So well, that, that was also kind of my question as well. Yeah. I've never, I think it was more, I think it's a mental blockage <laughs> for me. Okay. <laughs> Where I'm so just I'm like, like, like sounds <laughs> unsanitary. <laughs> I do go under the shirt. <laughs> It doesn't work the same over the shirt, okay. oh. especially because it's not the metal one with the tiny little fingernails because those freak me out. That's that, like having well, a ferret a scratch yeah. your back, and yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> this has kind of thick. It's thick. <laughs> it's, okay. It's like a bamboo hook, and that has little slits that might as well not be there. I mean, they don't oh, like actually the, the impressions hook. of fingers, yeah, but, but not actual not, fingers. Yeah. Interesting. Pretty much. Yeah, so it's just sort of the ledge okay. is what's giving you the itching. I don't love – if I could go back in time, I'd mm -hmm. buy different ones. But I can't be buying more back scratchers, right? Like you do the <laughs> yeah. one purchase. Right. I'm not supposed to last you, last you sort of your lifetime. Okay. Right. Yeah. Especially <laughs> in a set of three. It's like a set of three. Yeah. I've got two more. It's like I shouldn't have to buy them ever again. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to go back online and be like, well, you know, let me get one with better fingers. Yeah. <laughs> so I have what I have. Uh -huh. And <laughs> – 
when you're over a shirt, because it's just that one little ledge, mm-hmm. it's really just sort of moving your shirt around. And that I can do with my hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That I'm okay. sort of, I'm moving shirts around. It, oh, I do it constantly. Look at this. Constantly. Shifting. Ooh, look at, wow, wow. shifting. And it's different. Yeah. yeah. When you get under there. So wait. EJ, would you not be bothered if someone came hmm. over and started using a back oh, scratcher I... if it was over the clothes? If it was over? Over the clothes? Yeah. You can do whatever you want to my stuff over your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> See, maybe I'm a prude and I would be – and I would – that mm. would haunt me forever. New friend using my back scratcher. Even well, over I the scratch I over say, the I will say the new friend reaching for it and using it right away That's what is the problem. Me. It's not the act – like the the use of it is neither here nor there. It's the idea. It's the impulse. It's the yeah. recognition. Mm-hmm. I own it, and I'd be bothered if someone recognized exactly what it was. Sure, a close <laughs> friend, not a problem. In fact, I would scratch a close yeah. friend's back for them with their, my hands. Right. Let's get rid and of the middle. What hand. I'm saying is, I would but, put my energy into it. I would say yes. where. I would yes. say yeah. to the left or to the right. Mm-hmm. When you're like to the right, and someone goes like up, you're like, well, you don't care. <laughs> you're not <laughs> listening to me. You're not yes. listening to me because ultimately what I've asked you to do Mm -hmm. seems to be a major inconvenience to you. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, the worst is that maybe with the other hand, they're scrolling on their phone. They're not paying attention. They're 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 watching TV. They're they're like, oh, yeah, no, I'll do that. This limp hand. Get out of my bag. Like, (laughs) don't even, never talk to me again, honestly. (laughs) Limp hand, not putting your, if you're going to say yes to can you scratch my back, Mm -hmm. I have an itch. Mm -hmm. Get into it. It lasts so much shorter if you really put your energy in. Right. (laughs) It could be over like this. But you're making it last Two, three hours? <laughs> <laughs> Drumming so your sudden, fingers on yeah. the back. Four hours <laughs> in. <laughs> you're mad at me for creating a musical <laughs> number on my back. <laughs> oh, I had an ex-boyfriend who did that, who was like, he played the baritone saxophone, and sometimes he would oh, like cool. embrace me and then start to <laughs> <laughs> like in his sleep or like no no oh. like uh, <laughs> just during oh, a like, hug. Just doing, okay, that I find that kind of sweet. Are we are we mixed on that? It would have been so funny if you would make sounds if he like he started you would be like boom 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 like he, <laughs> you just tried to met you were like I think that's a C sharp. <laughs> um, no, he would do like do 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 do, and then he'd be like that was. Claude Bowling. Oh, that you was know? no. No, well, no, I no. would never nail the two. No. <laughs> I'd be able to I get it was so something out there. Romantic at oh. the time. You did or he did? I did, but yeah. I was like 16. He just still does. I, I do. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I think it's romantic. I, I think he just someone... still does think it's romantic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm swept up in the romance. <laughs> and I'm swept off my feet. <laughs> I'm always looking to become an object to my partner. <laughs> yeah. I'm a tub role play where I'm an object and they're a person and I get used completely. <laughs> I think that that's reclaiming a narrative. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm always looking to be some because ultimately he probably loved the baritone saxophone. Such a good oh point. God. He literally dumped me for it. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, true life, I'm in love with my baritone saxophone. Wow. When the episode he, TLC. Ugh, I mean, hit the cutting and room real floor. Quiet, since this episode dropped, <laughs> it was too real. <laughs> <That's a drop. laughs> Even silent, weirdly. I don't know if it was the intro. TLC's or... been really quiet since we brought this up. Uh, <laughs> you guys used to DM me all the time. <laughs> no, do you guys? Did you guys watch a lot of True Life or not at all? I didn't. I wish I missed the heyday. <laughs> I've seen so much of it because there's nothing that gets me more wrapped up than. Uh, watching, no offense to the little freaks listening, but little freaks doing some freaky <laughs> shit. Yeah. There's a woman that used to just eat her dead husband's ashes. Oh, Crazy. Whoa. Oopsie. <laughs> I mean, that that is oopsie. Cool. You watch. <laughs> I'm just a, a little freak. Um, even eat rocks. Oh, yeah, that highlight. scared the shit out of me. I watched the paper, one, toilet paper woman. Was that? Did she eat it? I heard a about lot her. of it was okay. eating. <laughs> that was a yeah. lot of okay. Um, there was one one guy who was like really in love with his car, and yeah. he would fuck it through the oh. tailpipe. I do remember that one. I I don't know why it sounded so it significant was a red, to me. Like but... small car. Yeah. What kind of car? I don't know. Not a nice one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, I always thought if you were gonna fuck a car, <laughs> at least it make it be expensive. Cool. Like a Maserati. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Even if it's like not. One of those like cool vintage cars you see around LA, even, but like, yeah, if I saw someone fucking one of those, I wouldn't blink. Mm-mm. I would be like, like that, that makes sense. sense. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. You had got your hands on it. Make it worth it. Yeah. But <laughs> there's a limited you supply. You get something out of it. It's like, yeah, I fuck those cars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I see them in a parking lot, I flirt a little. <laughs> but when... <laughs> Um, but his was like <laughs> truly like a 1998 Corolla. Wow. Mm, Which if you yeah. drive Corolla. one, cheers, hats yeah. off, but <laughs> I don't think you're trying to fuck it either. And if you are, DM me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on the we pod. We need to talk, yeah. Uh, yeah, we need to do like a call in. <laughs> you can't come into the studio because well, uh, your energy <laughs> seems to be all putting. <laughs> and Shelby um, would hit on your car, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, not the Corolla. <laughs> come in with, I don't know, an old Volkswagen Rabbit. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now Ooh. we're talking. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, I don't think I could name a second type of car, so that was no, really exciting. Yeah. Uh. The vo- also, those <laughs> Mercedes, Volvo like the Mercedes, oh, no. the vintage Mercedes, uh, like um, you station wagons that I see everywhere. I'm like, those are cool. Yeah. Someone could flirt with that. Yeah, totally. but this guy would like stand around his car and call, like flirt. At, oh, so hit on wow. it, like he was in love with it. That's like an objectum sexuality thing. Yeah, that's, that's like really another thing. I yeah. think this maybe episode was about being in love with objects and not specifically fucking your car because there was oh. another woman who. Married a roller coaster. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then there's... And that's legal? Erica Eiffel. <laughs> it's yeah, like ultimately. more of a ceremony <laughs> thing. Yeah. Like it's a private... Like you can't share taxes with <laughs> 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 Although imagine, because they're one of my like most income. favorite people is Dude, Erica what? Eiffel, who married the Eiffel Tower. And imagine how rich you would be if you could actually marry the Eiffel Tower. That's a really rich husband. <laughs> do, you, do people pay money to the Eiffel Tower? Or do you pay money to get up there? How, do you get up on the Eiffel Tower? I've yeah. never traveled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can like take an elevator or you can use you can take the stairs. Which really? is I don't horrific. Agree with that. Oh, okay. So no, <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> I, I did it when I was 18 and I think I I just like ended being like, I don't care. I don't care yeah. what's up here. Yeah, at the <laughs> once you get there, it's like awesome. Well, I just almost died for this. Yeah. But it's kind of worth- like amazing what's up there because they have those freaky mannequins up there. If you get to the top of the Eiffel They've Tower, there's mannequins. mannequins they shouldn't have those. <laughs> what are they doing up there? Having dinner? Kind of. Like they're they're behind glass. It's I supposed to be that. like Mr. Eiffel and his daughter. Okay. <laughs> and they're just like hideous mannequins. I guess I'm realizing that I don't really even understand the history of the Eiffel Tower. I know nothing about it. like I, everything I know I'm learning right now. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I'm like I'm like, wait, we didn't give them the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, gave right? us the Statue of Liberty, yeah, and it. we didn't give them back the Eiffel Tower. They're separate. There was no exchange. <laughs> Pretty and it's even gift exchange, so you have to agree. It's true. If it's it true. Was to happen that way. Yeah. Both mm-hmm. huge, sort of. Yeah. You get a tourist there. <laughs> yeah. They're mm-hmm. huge. They're. I mean. Wow! 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 <laughs> yeah. When you see them, you go, no way! <laughs> you guys made that? Who made that? Yeah. Both are kind of like iconic parts of their cities. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Paris, you're like, that's Eiffel Tower. Yeah. New York, well, actually, maybe a little less. France, step it up because I think you can kind of get involved with the skyline with New York. Yeah. You can get in line with Empire State Building, kind of has its its moment. Totally, I but know that one, yeah. That's getting a good on a boat and going to the Statue yeah. of Liberty. There's nothing so, quite like it. Dude, the Statue of Liberty <laughs> is big. Really big. If you haven't seen it, I got to tell you, it's just bigger than you think. Yeah. I've never seen it up close. Oh, it's <laughs> actually so much bigger than you think. I was <laughs> like... <laughs> It's really crazy. This is like pivoting to like extreme nationalism. Yeah. Like, it's actually so beautiful. It's actually beautiful. amazing. And, and by the way, America offers a lot of benefits <laughs> that other countries can't give you. It and that's why they're still an American dream, even though it's a flawed country. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're saying Kidding. this You guys know my real feelings. But <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. No one's arguing, but it's, you know. Um, Wait, like, who else has the gorgeous Lady Liberty? Lady Liberty, mm-hmm. yeah. There are some things. National parks. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, listen, Jamie, we brought you here for a reason. Yeah. Um, and it was not to praise America. Okay. Um, yeah. That's a part of every episode. That just would be a wild. <laughs> but, we, you're like, so what do you love about this country? Yeah, so we're sending something it to this and we want them to know that we're the best. <laughs> you was here on the Praise America pod. 
<laughs> yeah, permanently on the records, it's a group of white men at a bar yelling USA. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Ideally, it's like an Irish pub and it makes no sense. Yeah. Um, no. Mm-hmm. I actually think I would delete that. But. Me too. We brought you here for a reason. Yeah. We're sending some stuff to the aliens. Okay. What's the first thing you would put on your records? Oh, man. Um, I'm trying to figure out what where th- is the best place to start. Mm. Um, I thought really hard about this. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, no, good. <laughs> okay. So I guess the first thing I'll show you is um, a video of my mom's 30th birthday party. The aliens have to have this. It's really important. <laughs> okay. okay. So okay. the context for this clip that I revisit often because I can't tell, like, I love it, but also it's, like, really challenging to watch sometimes <laughs> depending on the day. Okay. So so the context for this clip, it's my mom's 30th birthday. Um, Huge. She is throwing herself a surprise party, walking in, pretending to be so surprised. Wait, that's in- While like making that. someone film it because it was her idea. Sure. But she's just her friend. And then at one point my dad, and she's wearing like a leather trench coat and a leather hat. And then you just watch people get drunker and drunker and drunker for this surprise party she threw for herself. Does a surprise happen or do we not see that part? We don't see it because okay. it because it wasn't a surprise. Yeah, she right. just she repeatedly is like, I'm so surprised. <laughs> and it's like, but she's not because it was her idea. Um, so anyways. That is this, so awesome. Okay. And her birthday is November 17th. Uh, it's a few days early, but um, okay. yeah. So just checking because I've seen. <laughs> Look, it's uh, thank you for asking. Turn thirty outfit. That's her. I refuse to turn thirty outfit. Timmy, someday you might look like that. I refuse to turn thirty outfit. She can't stop repeating it. Oh yeah, people are giving her dolls. She likes dolls. I guess. <laughs> Where is she from? She's from Massachusetts, can yeah. you tell? Yeah, <laughs> she's really. <laughs> yeah, I love him, there's no problem with it. <laughs> I was like, who gave, gave this woman six hours of Bugs Bunny for her birthday? She got 19 Barbies. Oh, Babbies. Babbies. Babbies, <laughs> sorry. Oh my god. So she's just kind of like bullying all her friends into having a nice time. <laughs> oh. Get that camera out of here. <laughs> Icon. It's so funny because we've cut so many of these people out of our lives now. That's my wildest Wow, a huge memory in our lives, and there were good times. We have yeah. really fallen out with these yeah. people. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> and then it just kind of ends on this Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, <laughs> Who's the guy on the far right? That's my dad. I um, love him. The way he was dancing earlier. There is really. He's really <laughs> putting everything he has into this party. <laughs> yeah, he really is committed to making it seem like he surprised his wife. That is so. He committed this for her. That's really nice. Oh, she bowed. Okay, that's so, Jill's thirtieth birthday. When you add this to the records, is yeah. there like, uh, like the way you prefaced it? Are mm-hmm. you providing like sort of written? Here's the deal. Here before you watch mm-hmm. this, this is the context. Mm. I'm saying that this was a culture that burned fast and bright um, <laughs> at one time. Uh, and I also just want to preserve how they talk because yeah. it's so shocking it to is. hear. Um, and so I, I feel like I, <laughs> yeah, sorry, EJ I feel like gets it's really good... shocked. <laughs> 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 I noticed you being shocked for the yeah. whole clip. Yeah, man. <laughs> I like that. And who can blame you? And who can sorry, blame EJ you? gets so shocked. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I'm I'm shocked every single time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> each and every time I watch footage for Bobby. my mom's thirtieth birthday. Bobby is like a really isn't it crazy that you can hear that and know that she's saying Barbie and not Bobby? <laughs> you know. 19 Bobbies? Yeah. 19 it's like Bobbies. Be. Yeah. Bo- it's, oh, a Bobby. And you're like, Barbie, I got it. Yeah. How, wow, how amazing. does that hit the ear? I was really smart. Yeah. Um, I Whoever edited the video... I love because um, the repetition of this is me. Thank you so much. I love you so much. (laughs) Jamie did it. This is the way she took that. No, thank you. 
I just wow. love the, the repetition of this is her refuse to turn 30 outfit. <laughs> this is her refuse to turn 30 outfit. Yeah. I said this is my refuse to turn 30 outfit. <laughs> this is my refuse to turn 30 I just told, outfit. I just told them this is my refuse to turn 30 outfit. And you know that there was more of that. Oh, it was just her wandering out. around the house for 20 full minutes t- telling everyone at the house um, who were surprising her. Right. I just... <laughs> The director's cut of, of that video would be absolutely horrific. Yeah. Um, that was an early pandemic activity for me, was digitizing old tapes and yeah. really just in the trenches. Mm-hmm. And then you found that. There are things mm-hmm. that I feel like my parents have certain pictures from nights that I'm like, if there's video, I want it burned. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, what is an example of that? I said, yeah, and then I'm thinking about if that's true for myself. <laughs> like, 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 actually, my parents are pretty normal, cool. <laughs> no, I think I mentioned this on one other episode once, but my parents have a photo album mm-hmm. from my dad. My dad turned 50 20 years ago, okay? Yeah. I'm 29, so I was nine years old. Mm-hmm. I remember we did like a family birthday party for him that was like families were there and mm-hmm. my family not to brag but made sort of in private while he was at work a family band to play a song for him whoa okay okay gorgeous that's not being burned i want that preserved that's we gorgeous. rewrote okay. the lyrics to a whole new world stop oh my god uh, to really discuss sort of what was happening with him which was aging <gasps> and <laughs> a whole Sorry, new was like happening. phase of life kind, he, of, kind of yeah wow did you play an instrument yeah well not in the family band because I wasn't good enough. Um, my Ugh, older brother played brutal. piano, and so did my mom. And my sister played – no, Harrison must have played guitar. My mom and my sister played piano, and then there was really nothing left for me and my brother, so we just sort of front-manded the band, and we were really singing our hearts out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that's what <laughs> I remember as my dad's 50th. <laughs> Turns out there was yeah. a separate party also, uh-uh. and that was – a lot of their friends all went on a trip together to Colorado, and from the photo album, it appears to have been absolutely a swingers weekend. Oh, my uh, God. Or just, or just maybe a sexually open weekend. I mean, everyone's kind of being with everyone. Sure. Okay. And I've seen photos of it, and I've said, <gasps> and so for me, if there's videos of that weekend, I just know there's more I don't want to yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> People just like filmed themselves very different back then. Yeah. They feel like they couldn't get leaked. Right. They're like, no one will ever see this. That's and true. it's like, unfortunately, I <laughs> am can digitize it. it. Yeah. And I can show anyone I want. And I. <laughs> have amassed sort of some people online who would love to see yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a small enthusiastic group of people that would love to see you humiliate yourself in 1994, which oh, is shocking. And I let them have that moment. Why would I take that from them? Why would, would I, I take, take that them? from them? It was, they I want to see it. They're curious. It. God, a swingers weekend in Colorado. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I it mean, was one inspired. Kelly the- me inspired. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah, I would love to do, you know, it's like, yeah, I would love what they, I want what they have. Dare I but- say a whole new world. <laughs> Yeah, in a way. Like, he really took it like he was like, okay, yeah. hey, like, here we go. Yeah. It was like, they said, the kids said it was a whole new world, and I'm going to make sure that they were right. And it, I mean, knowing that there definitely is video, because also that was the, that was when I feel like, and I could be so wrong, like 80s, 90s is when like home video recording was like totally new. So people were like, we got to mm-hmm. do this all the time. Oh, yeah. My parents like had to make a big camcorder yeah, that was because like, yeah. before that it was like you had to, it had to be a professional recording something if you're yeah. getting it recorded. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, okay, now we can get this in the house. Yeah. <laughs> we can bring this home where yeah. the heart is. And, <laughs> and so they were like, hold on, where the heart is? where the heart is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> home is, well, famously where mom is. <laughs> It's where the heart is. It's where my mom is. It's where you have three back scratchers. There's mm-hmm. it depends where you where you consider home. It's home is wherever. Yeah, the Human Records podcast <laughs> believe that home is wherever you want it to be. <laughs> um, but yeah, people were like, "Wow, well, we're here. We should record this." Yeah, and then we were, and anytime something big was happening, whether you actually wanted to relive it again or not, you were like, "We got to get this on camera because this is going to be a memory." Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't think people thought about any kind of consequences in the way that we. No, I feel like I'm constantly thinking about constantly yeah. thinking about. Well, them. I, was, I was watching. I don't know if anyone's watched this, and I don't recommend it honestly because it's a little bit. But um, 
the most hated man on the internet documentary. I have I heard so many like weird things about it that I haven't watched yet. It's really not a fun thing to watch because he's ultimately a really bad guy. <laughs> oh, totally. Okay. <laughs> and, as, as advertised. <laughs> but yeah, he's really, I mean, you're going to hate the guy. <laughs> There's one thing you're going to do. You're going to hate that guy. You're on the internet. <laughs> I mean, you really ain't going to hate him. Yeah. But he, um, <laughs> on that, it's like a bunch of people who are like, yeah, I took a bunch of, like, the long and short of what happened is that he was ran a website that like posted women's nudes um, as revenge porn. But he was like, I'm not liable for this because I'm just running a website. I'm not posting them. And technically, like that was a loophole in the law. Mm-hmm. But then it turned out the reason he ended up getting arrested was because he um, and I guess fast forward um, 15 seconds if you don't want to know. Um, but he was hacking all these people's computers with an accomplice mm. and stealing them out of their private folders oh and posting them. So a lot of these women were like, I never sent this to anyone. And Whoa. I don't know how it got posted. Right. And that, anyway, I'm like, people used to just be taking stuff and be like, there's yeah. nothing can happen here. Yeah. And what I've learned in the past week from watching the documentary is things can happen. <laughs> things can definitely happen. Not, it's not your fault. Mm-mm. That is do. like so villainous but and then also you're like that's so much work. So much work. So I mean but he was making done. so much money. Ugh, yeah. God. Because advertisers were going to it was every time mm. someone because the pro- biggest problem with the website was that he was also posting it wasn't just pictures. It was a picture of it was their pictures, their full name and their uh, social media profiles. Oh my god. Oh my god. So like, yeah. this is Shelby Wolstein Here's her Facebook. Here's a picture of her clothes, and here's a picture of her naked. And people were just like, "Wow!" And then he wouldn't they, take it down. Oh my god, that's, uh, that's <laughs> I have like been checked out from Netflix True Crime for a while, and it's always fun. Like if you check out for a while, then you go back, and there's just like some of the most demented <laughs> things. You've, yeah, yeah. like what? they get worse and worse. It was there's a new one coming out that I like burst into like there there's one coming out that's just called I just killed my dad. <laughs> it came up and on like a screen. I'm not saver. gonna believe what this girl does. <laughs> <laughs> it came to up on her like, dad. <laughs> it came up on the screensaver the other day and I was like, oh <laughs> like, literally they usually give them like an artful like the most hated man on the internet or like <laughs> wild like, wild country. Let's add a but they're like of, I just called my dad. <laughs> Like mystique to yeah. the title. I'm gonna watch that one though. It's gonna <laughs> work. Yeah, they're not even yeah, pretending. Obviously. They're just like, hey, you watch this right now. <laughs> they're like, You're this girl see killed this. her dad. <laughs> and then I googled it, and it was like the description was just as like blunt. It was like, so and so killed their dad. But the question Watch was now. always why. <laughs> <laughs> but she wants to tell her dad. side of the yeah. story. <laughs> yeah, she, from her. <laughs> she's like, yeah, so I killed my dad. That's how it starts. <laughs> she, goes, just, she goes, I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> well, 1984, I... Might have killed my dad. <laughs> I'm a funny story. Let's back it up a little. They <laughs> do it like a sitcom. It's her dad like being kind of mean to her. Out of and her dad. Like, an audience, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like her as a child being like, God, dad, you're the worst. And I'm going to kill is you. Like, <laughs> 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 it's commentary and then he's like no I don't hate you I love you in the audio oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Netflix and then she's like I grew up so, yeah. rough <laughs> and then the dad's like I grew up rough and then it's like oh whose side are we on no, no. Yeah, yeah, it's a, and then and know. then she kills him and then we're fully on his side yeah. <laughs> it's sort of an un- unquestionable him. yeah it's, it's, it's kind real, of a line that, I mean it's like when Marissa died in the OC it sort of it draws a line Ooh, for you you're like okay I'm a different example. Now. Yeah, I'm a different I forgive her for everything. All of her sins. I forgive her for everything. She was really my least favorite character and then she died. Saved. She was the best part of the show. <laughs> Turns go. out. Turns out Joe doesn't exist without Marissa. They tried. Um, <laughs> and they <laughs> failed. <laughs> and with that, take a moment to think about that and upside down throw the break. <laughs> <laughs> like, is she gone? I mentioned it. <laughs> the clearest sign in the world somehow made less clear <laughs> Making it upside down. <laughs> We're gonna talk to some sponsors. How about? How about? <laughs> and we're back, and you might notice that 
there's a little thing missing. <laughs> Throw in the comments on. below what's changed in the studio. <laughs> there's two changes. <laughs> if you can guess them. <laughs> um, good job. That would be the perfect podcast um, scary thing to do. It's like if you notice the differences, you get one free month of time to think about this you get a little bit of therapy because well, <laughs> well look at you well, <laughs> look at what we've done so. <laughs> no we're gonna bleep that advertiser of ours no okay. <laughs> i was like that's sure, also change an advertiser it to, uh, change it to uh, the <laughs> Nope. <laughs> they can't stop advertising to me. They won't buy me advertisements on the podcast, but they won't stop asking me to buy mushroom mud. Ooh, um, ew. You guys I've don't know about it? it? No. Not the mud. Well, no free clap for the girlies. So, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. If you little nasties want to be advertised on the pod, you know exactly how to purchase that. Wow. Yeah. Well. Through gumball.fm. <laughs> Uh, Headcups proprietary <laughs> selling service made just for podcasts. Wait, <laughs> wait, what's happening? I don't know. I, I'm not going to sell ads. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not desperately yeah. trying to turn a profit. <laughs> just to be clear, I'm not good at podcasting. Um, Thank you. Anyway, yeah. no, we're back. Mm -hmm. We're back. What is something that I. Uh, of all of humanity that you're like, let's just delete that altogether. And delete. it doesn't have to be like war. It doesn't. Or famine. Yeah. Like it doesn't have to be the big stuff. It could be just something like uh, the toe socks or something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. just, oh. I don't know. Just you coming just up with that out way, there. Yeah. That, For a second I was like, what's something that I would get rid of? And I think it's those. Or the toe shoes. The toe shoes. Oh, you would get rid of the toe shoes? You would keep them. I, I would, would get rid them. of them. Yeah. I would keep them, I think. <laughs> I don't like the energy of I them. <laughs> I oh god this is so I forgot I forgot to come ready with this wait I need to think of something I don't that I want gone forever could be in this room forever <laughs> <laughs> we're not talking you're not wrong, wrong yeah. you're not wrong <laughs> I'm sort of wow. looking around it's on his water bottle <laughs> 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 <It's> <laughs> yeah. I was kidding we love that you're hydrated I think yeah but what time is it <laughs> yeah <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. I think some people probably... use a sundial. I use Anya's water bottle. I'm like, ah, let's see. <laughs> it's about 11 a.m. I would. 9 a.m. Someone understands what you guys are talking about. And Anya has one of those massive water bottles yeah. that's timed through how much you should it's drink in a, a day. It's also a sundial on top yeah. of me. <laughs> it's on top of everything else. Everything. It's so big that it can be used as a modern sundial. <laughs> Back to Jamie for what she would delete from the records. Okay. Jamie? With that time bought by pulling Anya's water bottle, yeah. I have concluded I would get rid of hard seltzer brands that like just have no business making hard seltzer. Oh. I feel like you know it when you see it. Bud Light Seltzer. Yeah, but like get out of the seltzer game. My yeah. beer. hard seltzer. Yeah. It's like they already made know. the most extreme <laughs> seltzer there yeah. that's possible. Why are they retooling the lemonade. it? The lemonade. The twist. Wait, they don't own twisted tea. No. Separate mm. businesses. No, Crazy. they do wow. not. <laughs> <It's>, um, <laughs> they should come together, Arnold Palmer. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sounds really good. That's you guys have to call me. <laughs> <laughs> I have business ideas coming out the wall here. <laughs> people um, are saying, ooh, about <laughs> yeah, people ooh, are, la, la. First, first, immediate reaction, really positive. Mm -hmm. People are shocked at the yeah. idea in a really good way. <laughs> um, no, I'm trying to think of one that, okay, here's one that, has no business making hard seltzer, and if I could change it, I think I would be okay with it being deleted. But that ended up being really delicious. Oh. Okay, Topo Chico. Yeah, they shouldn't Theirs have entered alcohol. Is good, though. but it is so good. They did it right. They, they knew what they were it doing. Different than other yeah. one of those did. Topo Chico hard seltzer. I feel like I've never paid to drink it. It's one of those things where I'm like, it's someone. always just it. It's some at someone's house already yep. that someone else left there, yep. mm -hmm. or it's in a green room and they and the venue has received it for free. But I always enjoy it. It's, it's always really good. good. It feels like the thing that someone always bought to be like, I wonder what that's like. Yep. You know, like yeah. it's always bought. Well, we gotta up. try it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Chico <laughs> makes hard seltzer? Everyone's like, what? I guess that's what I'll buy. Yeah. Someone you're standing in front of the fridge with like three people being like, we should bring something, mm. right? Yeah. And like, uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, Topo's making seltzer now? <laughs> wow. Did you know? Yeah. Let's buy that. That's kind of fun. I would do it. I would and do it. And then it gets left at the person's house because yeah. no one ever drinks the thing you brought. No. They Except always... for I always drink the thing I brought. Is that weird? I, no, you no, should. That's, okay. that's better. Someone's got to do it. If I'm having that's people I... at my house, mm-hmm. I'm already thinking about bring, get, having a little something for people to be. And totally. they're taking that. Mm-hmm. And then they leave stuff. And then I, I'm like, well, I spent all this money getting stuff before. Mm-hmm. Had I known. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I would have, you know, mm-hmm. done it different. Yeah. But you, you know, have to over prepare. Totally. Whatever. Yeah, because well, people will arrive and be like, oh, I actually don't really drink beer. I yeah. can't remember the last time I drank beer. And it's like, okay. And you're like, okay, okay. no worries, because I also. <laughs> yeah. <That's>, um, <laughs> I've got uh, spiked topo. <laughs> and if you don't like that, I have woodchuck cider. There, oh. and <laughs> God. Uh, yeah. Van- and then the more, like, van- I can't, uh, is there a celebrity that has a hard seltzer brand because I love a celebrity alcohol. I think There's they're so be. funny. I've bought one, their darkest period of the pandemic for me. I ordered Cameron Diaz diet wine and Nina Dobrev diet wine to Which my one home was better? for a taste. Uh, it was Cameron Diaz as in life. Um, say, yeah, she's got Nina Dobrev does beat. Help. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It makes, and I, Cameron girl, you know how I feel. Ultimately, they're both disgusting. <gasps> Travis Scott, okay. Gordon Ramsay, this and just the inevitable. In. Oh my! The Gordon inevitable Ramsay is doing hard seltzer. I would drink that though. So well, that's I would what do Travis Scott is going to ask me to. <laughs> Travis Scott hard seltzer, absolutely not. Yeah, well, for well, many reasons. Yeah. yeah, for many reasons. Gordon uh, Ramsay, I would. To do. me, the shocking thing about being Gordon Ramsay is not that I wouldn't drink it. I'll do uh, when it comes to something. To put in my body, Gordon Ramsay could tell me to do anything. Oh. Mm. I'd believe him because, well, that's his whole career. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Hard seltzer to me is um, not supposed to be good. The idea is it's supposed Ooh. to be like uh, if you don't like the flavor of alcohol – and you don't like the calories of alcohol, you get to have hard seltzer <laughs> as sort yeah. of like a fine. This yeah. is the last resort. Right. And it's not supposed to be like, this is really going to hit you in the mouth with flavor. No. You know? No. It's supposed to seltzer be. Seltzer doesn't do that. So yeah. hard seltzer is definitely not doing it. It's mm. like a weird seltzer. It's. I mean, I remember when they first kind of appeared. I feel like it was <laughs> really recently on. I think like they very quickly become a, yeah. a strong focus of our well, low calorie alcohol yeah. will really get you. It'll get, it'll yeah. get you. But the I remember when they really first chokehold. <laughs> when they first appeared, the the ads for them were very like girlies, <laughs> girls. We know you don't like beer. <laughs> Listen, little ladies, <laughs> lady little girls. girls. <laughs> beer. Um, no, Bethany Frankel, in my opinion, started the skinny alcohol. Oh my campaign. god, she did. Yeah. And she does not get her to. <laughs> okay, let's give her her flowers on the pod today. Yeah. There. What was the name of her what skinny her? girl margaritas? I thought it was like. Get evil bitch margaritas. <laughs> I <laughs> wish it was that. Was like, that would have been great. Bethany. Great branding for her. <laughs> you got to rebrand, girls. Bethany. Skinny girls a little bit. Mm, we don't love it. Mm. Bitchy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Bitchy bitches brew. Really has a different <laughs> Evil <laughs> bitches brew. <laughs> 900 proof diet wine. Like, unbelievable. Yeah, mm. she really started a whole career out of it. And then everyone was like, wait a second. Wow, Wait Cameron Diaz ripped off Bethany Frankel. Bethany Frankel's the original celebrity. That's oh. <laughs> in conclusion. Um, no, I really do love Bethany Frankel, though. I don't really oh watch God. Real Housewives, but I know that I like her. I know she probably did something horrifically wrong, but I've sure I just don't know what so it was is. Everyone. <laughs> I just don't know what it is, Who and isn't? I've um, I've not. Tri- have you tried? Evil I think Bitch I've tried margarita? margarita, and I got to say, I didn't love it, but. <laughs> Also, I, it's it not possible to do well. Is, yeah, no, it has to be gross. <laughs> yeah, yes, this is a disgusting thing that can get closer to the thing that's good. Yeah. I feel like making a like diet alcohol that tastes good is the same thing as like trying to talk to ghosts where you're like, we can't rule it out, <laughs> but, but it's most likely not going to happen yeah. <laughs> for us. Yeah. So the thing for Gordon Ramsay making seltzer to me is like, what's he going to do to it that makes it taste be- like – his whole thing is flavor. Mm. I don't mm-hmm. feel like he's going to improve on seltzer because I feel like it is exactly what it's always going to be. Mm. Right. But I applaud him for trying. Um, I hear his wine's pretty good. He has wine? Yeah. Wow. He's really touching the market. Yeah. <laughs> he's really, he's really got his fingers all over the little market. Nasty. Um, <laughs> someone the other day told me they feel like he is like 
the best guy in the world. And I said, it is crazy to say that about a guy whose entire well, persona is built on being an asshole. Wait, what? on what grounds did they, <laughs> they say just, that? I walked into a room and people were being so positive about him. Oh my <laughs> like, oh my God, God, I said, I what him. is going on? Like, he's so and nice. And they were like, we're just talking about how like amazing we think Gordon Ramsay is. Like, we think he's like one of the best people. And I was like, but best meaning like kind and nice yeah, and empathetic. Like, good or, okay. guy. Oh, okay. Wow. Good guy. Really and I interesting. Said, I said, I think you're probably like maybe right. Like I feel like the mean energy is part of a persona. Yeah. But it is Ooh. crazy to be like, this is an amazing guy when I've watched him bully children on the television. Yeah. Right. Like I've watched kids <laughs> sob because he won't let them uh, take a break from oh being in front of fire. God. Sure. That yeah. It's sort of hard show, to unsee that. Junior. That's a special show. I haven't watched it in a while. But... There's a new season on. Get oh. Oh my god. Walk, don't run, don't walk. He is walk, just don't run. Not is, run. We have pool rules when it comes to matching <laughs> Junior. This is a walk, don't run uh, situation. I wonder if that, no like, rough housing. Gordon Ramsay nice actually becoming, like, a, the new, like, someone's party opinion. You know, like, when someone, yeah. like, yeah. brings their new opinion to a yeah. party and they're, like, testing it and you're like, all right, yeah, Gordon Ramsay's really nice. Like, yeah, they're like awesome. Uh, yeah, we were talking at the house the other day. Like, Gordon Ramsay's probably actually a really nice guy. How do we feel? Thank you. Uh, anybody? Um, anybody? <laughs> going it's... once, going twice. So, Gordon <laughs> Ramsay's incredible. <laughs> Um, no, what's next on your record? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, next on my records, let's go with um, Lemony Snicket books. Mm, mm-hmm. How That's do we the feel series about of unfortunate them? events? Mm-hmm. That's the series of unfortunate events. Do you events. feel good about the mo- the show? With Neil Patrick Harris? I have complicated feelings about the show with Neil Patrick Harris. I feel bad about the movie with Jim Carrey. Yeah. That was just straight up not very good, unfortunately. No. Which sucks because he actually was an incredible casting choice. Yeah. <sighs> but See, he didn't do I it feel right. like Count Olaf... Okay, this is my party opinion and has been for almost 20 years. Grab a I was drink. bringing this to third grade <laughs> birthday <at> parties. <laughs> so, I think Count Olaf should be really scary. And they always cast someone yeah. who's like... Not scary. Whims- Jim Carrey, like not sc- yeah. like funny. And they should have like, done guy- like a Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> like, honest. Honestly, like honestly, it, had we known, it would have made <laughs> more sense because, like, okay, because they did cast Johnny Depp as w- Willy Wonka, who is canonically very scary. Yes, mm-hmm. and um, in his version, very terrifying. scary. <laughs> and I ca- consider to be. A horror film. Yeah, spooky, right. scary. Yeah. Children are dying. Movie. Yeah, that's a Halloween movie. <laughs> that's, a, that's a movie you watch on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a fun movie for kids. It's a Halloween it's movie for adults. Halloween. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So Count Olaf should be scary. In the first book, he makes a child marry him Mm -hmm. and like he's doing he's trying to like extort children and like he's doing all this stuff but they always make him funny and neil patrick Mm. harris they went even further in the direction they are letting him sing songs he's goofing around always letting neil patrick harris sing songs good question good question stop why the steal wants to be in broadway let him go there Uh, yeah and And then then if i stay there there. i'll go to broadway i don't need I watched Time at Your Mother all the way through, whether we like it or not. Okay. And <laughs> all right, well, we'll circle okay. back to that. Reveal, reveal. Okay, we'll come back. <laughs> whether we like it or not, I've seen every single episode Ooh. of that television show. <laughs> whether we like it or not, is doing some heavy lifting right now. <laughs> <laughs> whether we like it or not, I've seen every single episode of Time at Your Mother probably more than once. So oh, anyway. geez, it keeps getting worse. <laughs> It was my babysitter's favorite show. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> and then now I fall asleep to it sometimes. So, <laughs> um, oh, but yeah. there were episodes where they would just be like, and this is the episode where I guess it's a musical. <laughs> it's like, well, uh, why do shows, okay, well, why do shows do that? <laughs> it has to be. He had to have been like, fine, I'll do the, another season, but this time. I'm gonna sing and I'm gonna dance. Yeah, he sings. You gotta get Neil singing. Yeah, he sings the theme song to the series of unfortunate events. Mm-hmm. It's, and you're, it's it's. I did enough. see every episode of that too. And if I, I did, too. And now I feel like I need to watch it. The, I think the get TV show is pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, and they do. I mean, the stories are harrowing, and uh, they yeah, do absolutely. hit that on the head. They just on make the, him kind of like a lovable villain instead of just being a villain villain. I'm Which sick of lovable work. villains. Not like a yes. lovable villain. Like you're never rooting for him in any way. Like I think there are villains where that, they do that yeah. far enough where you're kind of like, well, I don't want him to lose. I just don't want them to lose. You know? Yeah, yeah. Right. You still want him to lose, <laughs> you but you're kind of like, they're letting him be like 
the punchline a few times mm. in a way that you're like, oh, you like seeing him around and I want to um, not. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Especially should... when he's trying to marry the kid. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's really really and he stuff. comes hot out the gate yeah. trying to marry the kid. And yeah. it's like, but then they're like, but what if we gave him one where it's kind of like, have you ever considered his side? And like, <laughs> yeah, he literally like, tried to marry a kid. Yeah. Hold on. He's. It's not all as it seems. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, well, yeah, you're like, what, what, what in the situation we let it be? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if we let it be surface value? We yeah. just say, okay, yeah, like, bad, yeah, and we weirdo. don't need to decide nuance. Yeah. <laughs> I would change nothing about the stories. I think they're perfect. I was obsessed with them when I yeah, was a kid. They're so good. Uh, I was in line. I was at Borders Booksellers waiting <laughs> oh, yeah. outside. There was a huge culture with that for Harry Potter. There was not culture for that for <laughs> Series of Unfortunate Events. And I was there just there be. when they opened. Yeah. They need oh, a house or something. It was, ugh. It would be. They need houses. We need to be able to assign ourselves as something. Yes. So that's yes. you got a fan base. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Like, for that. us, it's the Little Freaks, or if you don't listen to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> for us, for example, there's the Little Freaks, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's everybody else. Yesterday on Twitter, there was a trending thing that was like, every state has its own Harry Potter house. And I said, no. Why? Why? Are we doing no. this? <laughs> Are you <laughs> Joking? They're, oh. They were like, finally, it's happened. We've assigned it a <laughs> Harry Potter house to every single state in the United States. And more than 50% of the United States is Slytherin. And uh, I was like, of course, that's true. No, the whole I'm country is sort of uh, the bad part of Slytherin. And the good part of nothing. and <laughs> But it's like, see, this is what they wanted. Now we're talking about it. Well, fine. Mm -hmm. we, we're talking about it. Ohio was not Slytherin, which is where I'm from. It was like... Ravenclaw. What's Oregon? Probably Hufflepuff, <laughs> if I had to guess. <laughs> if I had to guess, Hufflepuff. Maybe Gryffindor, but I'm giving it Hufflepuff. This is like J.K. Rowling's PR team is like desperately trying <laughs> yeah. to get it. She's like, fuck trans people, yeah. but w couldn't you for just a second walk with me on a trip to find out what Texas would be if it was in Harry Potter? Oh Slytherin, by the way. Totally. Wow. On the map that they drew out. Oh, okay. So they, it. Okay, good. Brave. They map. said it. Yeah. <laughs> they they finally, someone said there. it. They weren't even afraid to put 50% of the United States as Slytherin. <laughs> they freaking did it. <laughs> they popped off the uh, Slytherin on the United oh States. Oh, my God. <laughs> if there was a lot of people in a state, they were like, Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> Too Unpopulated. Yeah. Too big. Unpopulated <laughs> was Hufflepuff. Sort of like medium Ravenclaw or Gryffindor. Okay. Gryffindor wow. felt like it was maybe not that many. And that makes sense. That makes sense. It's, I mean, it's rare to be that brave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the bravest yeah. state? <gasps> Yes, um, I agree. I, I agree. What? They're very brave. I'm sorry. They're very brave. Are you from Massachusetts? Uh, are you from Massachusetts, Casey? I'm from Florida, but oh. Massachusetts. Florida Slytherin. Sorry, buddy. It was. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. There's snakes down there. Yeah. <laughs> they have to be Slytherin. <laughs> They're full of snakes. That's so many snakes. <laughs> My girlfriend's in Australia right now. Snakes made me think of that. And she's going to a place, and I like looked it up just to see what it was going to look like when she gets there. Okay, sure? I'm adorable. And um, <laughs> I was like, I wonder what she'll see. <laughs> And there, the first picture that came up was like, beware of stinging trees. No, and no, I texted no. her. I said, hey, I just wanted to check in that you're making sure you don't get stung by a tree. <laughs> because that sounds crazy. Like it throws things? It. I don't know. It honestly feels like, like it's a tree with cactus-like properties. Tree. And and you know how sometimes cactus will spit little yeah. things out? Oh, yeah. That happens. Yeah. Oh, I did not. Um, I did know that, yeah. <laughs> My mom's from the desert, so I know a little <laughs> thing or two about a cactus. Desert Slytherin. So. <laughs> yeah, so for sure. Arizona's yeah. definitely Slytherin. Oh, it's yeah. not Ravenclaw, but um, I'll give it Slytherin in my mind. So many rattlesnakes. Yeah. And stinging trees, they're called. I said, that's illegal. That's yeah, really messed Australia up. needs to be shut down. Well, that's the thing about Australia is there's scary stuff there. I don't know if your girlfriend knows. Yeah, everyone should be in New Zealand where yeah. nothing scary is. They're wow. just cheap. I thought there was scary stuff in New Zealand, no. too. No. Um, can we get I a feel like check? once I read that there was, I, I feel like once I <laughs> looked over to Anya like, well, and, well I thought she would know. It's weird that we're not getting why. any answers but about this scary stuff in New Zealand. I think was all knowing. No, I once feel like I read that, um, New Zealand like has no poisonous spiders or snakes. Oh, okay. That's great. And Whoa. Australia has, I think, a million, a bajillion. Yeah. So <sighs> lemony snicket. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah. lemony uh -huh. lemony. Um, That's not his real name. Add the books. Are you adding 
the show as well. <laughs> not Are his you real brave to say? Brave to <laughs> say? What did I say? <laughs> no, uh, Lemony Snicket is not his it's real name. So, well, oh, I thought you were saying I said it wrong, and I was like, that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Lemony. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's limey. I got the wrong fruit. Um, <laughs> no, would you? So you're adding the books. Mm-hmm. Are you also adding any of the visual content, or you're just being like, this should only be read? I feel like it should only be read, and you can also listen to the CD they released that okay. like only I own. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> no, they made it an original album because <laughs> Lemony Snicket and all of the other girls plays the accordion. Okay. Enlisted. So it makes sense that Neil Patrick Harris was doing music. <sighs> I know. It kind of sucks. Because yeah. he was just like, okay, he is kind of a theater kid, and that is like something I need to carry with me. Like, right. your yeah. fave is a theater kid. Um, <laughs> but... Anyway, yeah, he, like, worked with the band The Magnetic Fields, and they made a whole original album of music about, like, the various books of a series of unfortunate events. That EGOT. can stay. EGOT. That has EGOT. to go. <laughs> EGOT, EGOT. <laughs> it's pretty good. EGOT, EGOT, Grammar, EGOT, Grammy, EGOT, Grammy, 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 Oscar, <laughs> Emmy, Tony, it's, Pulitzer. I really loved it. I got it as a gift on Valentine's Day from, like, my dad. And I was like, this is the greatest thing I've ever received. What a gift. What a moment. And mm-hmm. it was great. They sang one two-minute song about every single book. So, the sec- <laughs> so like, first book, they're, like, scream and run away. Right? Yeah. An, an yeah. iconic song. Second, uh, they get pretty bad after the first one. <laughs> Weird. Okay. First you scream and run away. Then you... Cry, call your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Second song has something to do with the book is called The Reptile Room. The song is called In the Reptile Room. And huh. so it, they kind of tend to stay on theme after that, but they're just singing about snakes. There's a, you know, there's. Not a fan, by the way. In the of snakes. Generally, yeah. Re- oh. Do you like when they swim? I, no, that's actually one of the worst things they do. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. I don't like that they move at all because it doesn't make any functional sense. And that they can be in the water is one of the scariest things about yeah. them. Mm. In Ohio. They do that. They're in the Thank water you for in saying Ohio. that. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> What's awesome about snakes is that they're kind of everywhere and they have no boundaries and they can do anything. Yeah. And they can kill you in a million different ways. It's really and, hard to kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I don't even know where their neck is. <laughs> I couldn't choke it if I tried. No. Oh. <laughs> I could be in their stomach for all I know. Yeah. And their jaws unhinge. They have venom sometimes, but mm-hmm. sometimes they don't. And you can barely tell the difference of some of them. They're like, mm-hmm. this one has a small red dot on its nose. And that's how you know that it is venomous. It's like, how am I going to get that if close to close know? enough to tell. That, yeah. yeah. Some of them dig themselves into sand. They're just waiting. I, oh, yeah. They dig themselves deep. Yeah. I really wanted a pet snake at one point. This Big was mistake. like five years ago. I went... Through every single step, my friend who has a snake gave me her okay. old tank, and she was like, "This is great for a starter snake." I did all the research; I was friends. totally so ready. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I never did during this process was look at a snake or be near one. And then oh, when I went to that's the actually the hardest store, part. Yeah, yeah, I was like, famously the hardest part. Yeah. <laughs> Lizards, I could be around. Oh yeah, I could be all day long. Yeah. Lizards are incredible. Yeah, awesome. I love them. Yeah. Lizards Not afraid can of them. fucking stay. Yeah, yeah. Snakes uh, deleted from the records. Yeah, They're, that I mean that is a good thing to delete from the direct, from the records because I went to like, and I don't drive. I took the bus. I thinking I was gonna bring a snake home on the bus, not sure. But like took the if bus. I got on the bus. <laughs> you would be <laughs> so the person next popular. to me was carrying a snake. <laughs> I would be <laughs> I would be so fucked up over that. He wouldn't be able to look me in the eyes for a month. Everyone that saw me for the next six months of my life would have to hear about the snake on the bus. There's not snakes on the plane. There's snakes there, there's on the bus. One snake and, on and, the bus. And, and it's snakes on the five. 603. And there, but I went all the way to this pet store in Burbank. And then when I held a snake, I was just like, no. <laughs> it was like, yeah. bad, a bad. Went home empty handed. Uh, just saw a movie, went home. And I was like, well, what now? And I still have the snake tank to this day. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. can't I don't know anyone that wants a snake. What am I going to do with it? Hey, freaks, if you guys want a snake, first of all, turn this podcast off. And second of all, <laughs> I, I want, sound off in the comments. Listen, I, lo- I love the pie. I wanted to grow whatever, whatever. If you are a snake person, <laughs> you gotta draw the line somewhere. You gotta draw the line somewhere. At some point, we just aren't compatible, and the snakes are sort of aligned for me. But um, okay. lizards are dope. As soon lizards as they lose their legs, they're gone. If you've got it, yeah. So if you have a legless lizard, well, oh, obviously I want to hear about oh. it. But I think of lizards as um, <laughs> legged snakes. <laughs> 
<laughs> the way you said that yeah. made it sound like at some point in every lizard's life, <laughs> their lights <laughs> fall off. And I was like, wait. No, they yeah, do lose their tails. Their tails wait, wait, is that happen? gnarly. Because that's Ooh. when they turn into snakes. <laughs> yeah. A lot of the times they'll lose their tail and they usually grow them back. Here's a little that's anecdote cool. for the snaky freaks. Okay. So <laughs> when I was growing up, we had a dog. She's a golden retriever mix. She ran out into our backyard and found a snake. No. Started sort of whipping it around as dogs do. You know, using it as no. a toy. She brought it as a gift back no. inside the house. <laughs> and I <laughs> so upset. Uh, and, I, <laughs> and the snake was, I mean, as you can imagine, it was scared for its life. It was being sort of mangled. Um, I woke up to the Good. snake thrashing around in my bedroom. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Spread, <laughs> spreading blood everywhere. And, okay, oh. ew, 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 ew. I, of course, I'm like, Mom, you know. And <laughs> God, <laughs> mother is a fucking <laughs> curse. Hey, yeah. Mom, something weird is going on here. <laughs> mother is a curse. Uh, I, I can't have kids. I just realized they might one day call me into a room with a bleeding snake. <laughs> a bleeding snake with, like, actual tooth holes in it. I'm sorry to be so graphic. Uh. But anyway, so I'm like, well, we got to save it. I don't really know. I didn't want to touch it. My dad, <laughs> sorry, my dad decides... Um, the most logical thing to do is he's like, I got it. He grabs the snake, just, th- <laughs> just throws it into the backyard. And the snake gets caught in a tree and it stays there for mm, that... three days dying. <laughs> <laughs> so every time we went out, the snake was kind of like. <laughs> so you can see it. No. Uh, I and this is <laughs> this is not supposed to be mean. I hated that story start to finish. <laughs> I I really liked it. I thought it was great. And no, was I think it had like a good start. Oh, and yeah, I think yeah. it had like good story arcs. So I was like, like, you like me. Like no, me. I like you. And I, I think functionally it was a good story. <laughs> I hated journey. every sure. single part yeah. of it. It's like when you go see a movie that like like Tenet. That's not a movie made for me. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not a movie that I'm supposed to like, sure. and so I didn't. Yeah, but <laughs> but. I understand functionally. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got just... into such a big fight with my boyfriend at um, at Tenant because we saw it. It was like the, we saw it in a drive-in because it came out like during – like you yeah. you shouldn't be well, going to a like, movie theater. they were like, we can't do this on streamers. Yeah. yeah. But it was like so quiet and he was really excited to see it and um. the whole time – and we were parked really far away. So it was quiet. I couldn't see what was <laughs> happening and the whole – and it's five hours long. And I just kept being like – At that point, watch it on an iPhone. Is it actually five hours long? Yeah, literally. It's so, it was so far away. It was so long and like we had our dog with us and he had to like – I had to keep taking him outside to pee. And, like, I was just being so disruptive. Yeah. And um, at some point, he, in the middle of Tenant, he said, enough. And then he just pulled out. <laughs> so I don't know how that movie ends. <laughs> enough. He said, enough. Because I kept being like, what's happening? And then, like, we've like, done Sonny enough has to thing. pee. <laughs> we've done enough of the Tenant thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll watch this differently. Been there, done that. <laughs> I'll wait. I can wait. I'll watch this differently yeah. another time. <laughs> I don't need to. I think, I, yeah, I think similar to you. I, I, I don't need to know. Yeah. Um, wow, that snake story. I I thought it was terrifying, gorgeous. I felt I like mean, I was there. I mean, definitely twists and turns for sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, th- oh, thank you both so much for <laughs> the responding spray? and reviewing the snake story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the spray. What's next the on the blood? records? Okay. What is next <laughs> on the records? That we're really just gabbing about snakes. <laughs> For Which is my fault. It is I brought it up. Snake it adjacent, though. There's a whole chap. There's a yeah, whole book the about the reptile room. room oh about- my god, the re- I will never forget the reptile. And room. that's a. Isn't there the snake? That is the incredibly deadly viper that yeah. looks venomous but isn't. Oh yeah, it was Shelby. Oh, it's kind of sweet. Friend. I don't know. It's like the snake in Harry Potter too. I don't oh. even think they consider that a snake, but Nagini. I'm like, that's a snake. Well, I forgot that the snake. You know Nagini. Isn't that yeah, her name? That, that. Tip what? your tongue. Isn't her name Nagini? Nagini. <laughs> No, the big one that goes to the tunnels is that – she has a name? <laughs> oh, 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 you, Tom Riddle's. Tom Riddle Snake. Yeah. Yeah. The no, big I guy. Don't, I don't snake think he has a snake. He's just a basilisk. Yeah, the basilisk. <laughs> oh, basilisk. Yes. 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 I saw Harry Potter as a kid and I don't really know about it. You don't I, know anything about it? <laughs> I, I was the kid waiting in line for Harry Potter. You did? Yeah. I, I mean, remember. look, that was most kids. Like, that makes sense. Yeah. Which you should have been waiting for. <laughs> you should have been waiting with me because I was alone. And it was <laughs> and me if and my cousin. Would allow it, you should have bought two books that day. <laughs> <laughs> Um, sorry, what was next on the records? Okay, um, I'm, 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 I'm between a few things. Okay, so I'll go. We were talking about true crime earlier, mm. and this is like my true crime comfort documentary, uh, The Jinx. The Jinx has to be on the record. Robert Durst, in general, needs to be seen and dealt with. by the alien. Because I feel like they know Something him. Something could be done. They know him. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
he is a member. Like they would, they might be relieved to be like, oh, they he found him. It. They found him. He's okay. <laughs> they found him. He's okay. I love the doc. I to be clear, I don't love Robert Durst. I do think that he is a very um, effective villain. He's dead now. He can't. He can cause no more harm. But he did make me laugh a lot back in the day. <laughs> Controversial, but he was one of our funniest. Murderers, <laughs> <laughs> and I was. What's his best joke? Come yeah, on, give it to us. I, literally, I could rank my best Robert Durst jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious joke. He said that him uh, confessing to murdering three people on camera didn't count because he was high on meth at the time. So he's like, a confession while I'm on meth doesn't count. And you're like, that's not how that works, Robert Durst. Oh. But he was able to put off his case for months because he was Trump like, high on meth. Yeah. He <laughs> does really, it was lucky that he just wanted to kill like three people. Is oh. my it's my other hot take? All right, yeah. no, like I obviously I'm not endorsing like, his murders. You said R.I.P. R.I.P. Robert. R. You were real one for real. I have not forgotten. Yeah. Rest in paradise, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Another great Robert Durst joke is because he's from like a fabulously wealthy New York real estate family, and he just like any opportunity he would call his younger brother a pussy just like mm. in police interviews like they would just be like your brother Douglas he, and Robert would just be like pussy and he would just like oh my god it was so shocking and the people interviewing him never knew how to deal with it um, right well, just, I mean, I mean, I'd be like oh <laughs> to be like, is he is he a pussy? Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you, you know, you like dig deeper. You're like, and why do you say that? Yeah. What, what is it, what's coming up for you? Afraid of many things, or how does he how does he encapsulate pussy to you? <laughs> He's an absolute uh, devil person. But I loved that documentary when it came out because it was just like so. I don't know. You're like usually. With true crime documentaries, you're like, oh, it's, like, complicated and tragic and all mm -hmm. this stuff. But with Robert Durst, you're like, here's the most evil man to ever live. Right. He does not know. He does not care. And you're just going to kind of watch him lie, lie, lie to this guy with a bad goatee for six hours. And I was eating it up. I loved it. <laughs> I do think, like, listen, depending on how um, aliens are going to receive humans, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want us to be – and I think Lebanese Nugget and this both give a little bit of, like, a – Hey, we're capable of bad things. Sure. We're showing you things mm -hmm. we like because that's also part of us. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to roll over and be whatever. No. We got people that kill for sport. Yeah. Right. We have some crazies. Yeah. <laughs> we've got, we've got, we had, look, it's, it's like you were describing the Statue of Liberty earlier. Like, look, we have our problems, but at the end of the day, the it'll be nice when we can all come huge. together. <laughs> <laughs> we did famously big large. Stuff. Like, maybe famously too big. Large. <laughs> too. <laughs> some things are good, big. some things are bad, but at the end of the day, the Statue of Liberty is way bigger than you think. <laughs> <laughs> On the other end of that, I was going to add the volcano couple to <gasps> my Which record. Is, I quickly I, Googled That's and, like the best yes. that's the documentary. Spoiler, the couple that died together, yes? Okay, yes, they do they die, die at the end. Yeah. But together they at a, a volcano. At a volcano. Holding I each think other, it's right? so nice. Yeah. Is that what we're talking about? Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's like these... <laughs> like the other volcano couple? Or <laughs> <laughs> it made me want to be a volcano couple. I was like, wow, they yeah. really found each other. It was really like these French people and they, they like, the best part of that documentary is when people are always like, are you going to have kids? And they're like, no, <laughs> no, we that would be really irresponsible. We're constantly jumping into volcanoes. <laughs> no, we're pretty busy being in lava. Yeah, but <laughs> if lava ever stops existing, maybe we'll talk about it. Oh, um, yeah, I love the volcano couple I don't know so why much. This they make me cry. Is what I'm bringing up. But do you either of you remember the Mary Kate and Ashley? Uh, episode where they go to the volcano. No, wait, what series was I that? I consider them to be the volcano couple. Oh. They go when they're like <laughs> investigators. They put on like the oh. silver suits and they go to a volcano. Obviously, it so was like green work. screened or whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. little, mm. little Mary Kate and Ashley. Mm. Yeah. Not full house, but you know, when they were making their little shows. Pre two of a kind. When little, yeah. Mary when they were Ashley. little detectives. Oh. Wow. They invest what did they investigate regarding a volcano? I don't know. Something bad oh, happened. How it worked. Oh. 
Yeah. Something bad happened. <laughs> something bad happened and they had to something figure it out. Something actually super wow. sad happened. You know when something yeah. bad happens and you call on two eight-year-olds? <laughs> <laughs> to come figure it to out. come to an active you. volcano. <laughs> you know when something bad happens near uh, yeah, an, er- an eruption and you go, who could I call if not the two eight-year-olds that live next door? <laughs> or the spunkiest little kiddos <laughs> that you go on over. identical twins, one of the cr- cr- scariest things we have on Earth. Uh, uh, yes. God. Thank you for bringing that up. Especially <laughs> identical twins after... A certain like I've never thought about identical twins after age like twenty two. You have yeah. to be separate, but they yeah, keep you going. Should not they keep be. going? I say this all the time. This is the biggest problem with selling Sunset is that those two twins <laughs> shouldn't be together. Should not be in the same city, let alone the same job. Yeah, I yes. Saw on again, I think Twitter.com, God, the perfect bald website. Twins. Yeah, I hate, twins. Twins. I hate the bald twins. Two twins. Hate the bald twins. Two twins were married. We're marrying uh, two identical twins, married two identical twins, and they're both pregnant at the same time, and they live together. <sighs> all of them. That's it's just a perverse. I, kids I shouldn't grow up in a house where all of their parents look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, such a good point. Wait, and imagine so, them going to a fun house. They'd be like, "This just looks like the house." The kids are gonna look. Like <laughs> they see like eight of their parents, and they're like, "Correct." <laughs> they're walking into walls like crazy. Do, they, do you think that that would like? I don't know why this is where my brain went, but if you were a kid, like you, it would just need to like improve your sense of smell because what other sense oh. would you have to rely on to know which, which person was your which? Mom. Yeah, which dad is your dad? Yeah. Like, which sibling is your actual? Right, like, the nightmare. siblings are all going to look the same. It's, it's fucked up. <gasps> Chances are with the way genetics work, the, the sib- they're technically like <laughs> the yeah, kids biologically are be twins. siblings. Which if is disgusting. I think it's a problem. I think it's a problem. Mm-hmm. And I think they should be dealt with <laughs> by the law. <laughs> I think the law needs to be involved. Uh-huh. I think it is grotesque. But Something weird, yeah. I, mean, I think I actually think you can be a twin and be in your 20s. I think when you get to 30, you have to be separate. And if you're past 50, one of you has to pass away. <laughs> See, I think like once you hit like 50 or 60, move back in together. No, you have to spend 30 I, years apart and come back. I have a friend that's mom is an identical twin. And whenever I see them together, I go, <laughs> that's a little scary. Do their voices sound the same? That's my question. I don't. Ooh. I genuinely have never known which one I'm talking to if they're in the same place. Cool, 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 cool. So. That happens in series of unfortunate events. <laughs> Oh, in the 12th book, The Penultimate Peril. <laughs> no, guys, I do think twins should be able to live. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Wow. Yeah, I know. No like, I was should. catching some shit for the jinx and people are like, you no, 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 I'm kidding. Guys, listen, I'm There's kidding. A few people I think on this twins planet. should be able to be alive. <laughs> Everybody should be able to be alive. Um, <laughs> the twin thing, I think that's like between you guys for the most part, but also I just wonder like... <laughs> <laughs> if you're asking me to be involved in your family, which I get a lot of offers, um, I'm going to have some issues with it. We're going to have to make some changes. Yeah, I Separate bedrooms twins. for everybody. I want twins to consider oh, sure. the way that, sure. that yeah. they are coming across. <laughs> I, just want, I want twins to be aware it's that like when I see you, it's the like, shining. ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Twins aren't good vibes. <laughs> are there they like... can be scary way easier than one person can be scary. <laughs> Are there like are there? I was gonna say active twins right now. I think it's because we were just talking about volcanoes. Yeah. They're active <laughs> twins, but I feel like we like in the early two thousands. Like twins there was, was just such a twin moment. Twins is big. Twins is big. But now it's like not as many twins because I I mean yeah. the two Lindsay Lohans huge for me. <laughs> yeah, I like what? Really? It took a really it. long time for my brain to really catch up and say there's one of her. That was really hard. She was just doing that good a job. I kept being like there's. <laughs> One and she's not as famous. Yeah, for sure. She's <laughs> it's another it's one, and Mohan. we just don't like her as much. <laughs> That's maybe one of my favorite, least favorite um, targeted clickbait ads. Where they're like, "Did you know this really famous person has an identical twin who just must not be talented?" Yeah, because <laughs> it's bummer. clearly bummer, not an issue with their looks. Bummer. They're- yeah, so I'm. Other thing for twins to consider, and I'm sorry that you guys have so much, but unfortunately you were born with this burden. Yeah. If one of you is really good at something, you can't pursue it. If the other one is really <laughs> bad at it. Yeah, yeah, because then otherwise it just becomes embarrassing for the. Yeah. Like, I think if you're both medium at stuff, go ahead and do whatever you want. Yeah, do whatever if one you of you want, is yeah. going to be an Olympic athlete and the other one can't catch a ball, you can't do the Olympic thing because <sighs> I always think of Rami Malik, Sammy Malik. Which, first of all, <laughs> come on, they look exactly the same. Sammy Malik's, I think, I. I think he's happy. He's like he's an elementary school teacher. I Meanwhile, Rami happy. Malek. I think he's happy. He's he looks exactly like Rami Malek, except he is not Rami Malek, and that has to be difficult. I didn't know about this. Rami Malek, <laughs> Sammy Malek. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a whole I thing. think we transition twins into being like uh, less movie stars and more like I see them like. 
there was like the Dolan twins on TikTok, which are uh, like right. drama TikTok. Like they're like influencers now. They're like, we look the same. Do you, do, give us a brand, brand deal. Brand deal, yeah. Right. And people love to do that. I mean, I would give a twin a brand deal in a second. I would like enjoy having twin, like identical twin friends. Like if it happened to me, I, I would uh, immediately become so defensive of identical twins. It wouldn't even be funny. But since I've never met any and I don't know any. I've... Some of my closest friends from high school are identical twins. <gasps> Well, two of them. I mean, they're identical right. to each other. Not some of them. I mean, it's exactly two. It's two. Wow. And they were in the same friend group? Yeah. And my sister had two identical twin friends as well. So you're actually, like, really close with a lot of identical twins, it sounds like. Just tangentially. And they know how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, well, Which is that I think them? they both deserve to have really happy lives separate. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, separate. Okay. Well, um... <laughs> I think they should be separated. I think, <laughs> I think they should be apart. Mm -hmm. They were living together bi coastally, and I said, uh, you have to separate. And now they do. They live in separate states, and I think that that's correct. And they did that because you told them to? I, God, I hope. <laughs> I hope I had that much power, but I know that I didn't. Um, <laughs> Um, no, let's just quickly run through the last couple of things on your record, if okay. you want. Okay, so the, the things that uh, we didn't get to were um, uh, the feeling of going to the bathroom right before or after doing something significant and looking, making eye contact with yourself in the mirror and being like, you better remember this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You better remember Dude, when this. When you have a moment where you have to recap, where you're like, I'm capturing a memory. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a real... In someone yeah. else's bathroom. Did where you're you? just like, I can't believe it. It finally <laughs> happened. Yeah. Like losing your virginity. You're like, like literally in a movie. Remember. Yeah, that's when you're in a movie. You're like, oh my God, who are you? <laughs> you got to get back out there. Yeah. <laughs> if this is going to be something. <laughs> Did you ever read those books, Cam Jansen, the, with the uh, yes. photo photographic memory? Mm -hmm. Click. It was just I wanted one so bad. Click. I think I lied about having I photo. forgot that Cam Jansen came with a catchphrase. Yeah. Click. 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 She's taking a photo. Uh, one of the best catchphrases. It's just, yeah. Click. Click. Um, she would, she would, yeah. Click. Like, that's a raven. Oh, incredible. She, yeah. <laughs> so um, that was one of my things. One thing I forgot to put on the list was the court scene from I, Tanya, which is my favorite scene in all of cinema, is Margot Robbie saying, they had 18 months. I would do that. That's my favorite <laughs> scene I've ever seen in movies. And I watch it literally at least once a week. Um, I really like Margot Robbie. Me yeah. too. She's great. I was going to say controversial take. It couldn't be less controversial. I think people just like her. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think yeah. she's pretty well. And then I think that like when she became a producer, people are like, oh, and she's, she's smart. Oh, wow. She's great. I love her as Tanya Harding so much. She's like too objectively like, a drop dead gorgeous to be playing a normal person, but I appreciate Correct. that she tries. Now she's playing Barbie. Now yeah. she's playing Barbie. <laughs> so that's kind of the hottest yeah. woman we've had. But the court scene from I, Tanya is so good, and it makes me – sometimes I cry thinking about it. I love it so much. I want them um, to see her talk separately and then do that because then you get to see um, sort of <laughs> – Secretly uh, Australian? What acting is. It's yeah. like it's like, it's like, watching. oh, this is good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. This Stop. is my favorite movie. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. The aliens come down and they're like, we got to get to an AMC. <laughs> Are they showing I, Tonya? <laughs> I saw I, Tonya in theaters 11 times. Jesus Christ. <gasps> I was in the trenches when that movie came out. See, I was yeah. having, and, and it was like end of movie pass. So you could oh just keep God, going I to miss. see I, Tonya. Like every day, if you wanted to, it's yeah. crazy and how I did. that existed even for a moment. It bring was it back. right. Bring it back. I don't. I feel like it really enabled some of my like worst instincts, such as seeing I Tonya in theaters every <laughs> day. Yeah. Yeah. I think going to I the movies. Get rid of a movie pass. Yeah, okay, we can keep movie pass on. <laughs> I. <Bring it> <laughs> And then the last thing I had was um, the How It's Made episode uh, about hot dogs. Oh, yeah. Gotta how It's Made is a perfect show, by the Gotta way. Keep. Yeah. Yes. It's the best. It doesn't matter how disgusting what's happening on screen. There's going to be a really enthusiastic Canadian VO and, like, a baseline playing. And it's most egregious during the hot dog episode because it's literally, like, <laughs> like <No>. just yeah. <laughs> nasty, nasty mm -hmm. meat goop. Like, the least ethically sourced nasty thing in the world and then you see them just like pour water on it and it starts boiling and then there's a Canadian guy being like next the slurry <laughs> starts to get mixed yeah. around oh and then you hear like -boom, boom, boom. it's like <laughs> the greatest thing I've ever seen and it, it just keeps escalating because the hot dog production is truly horrific and so it's um, it's my favorite internet clip hmm. 
I have to watch um, it because only. I have to. F- how are they tying them? <sighs> I, just, I can tell you. Yeah. It's a whole thing. It's kind of like it spinning. A- spinning thing? So it's like a thing where they put it into a plastic tube and then the tube gets heated that. and then they take the tube off and it's like almost a jello mold situation. The meat has um, become uh, I mean, <laughs> <It's> a <laughs> fun fact about me is I'm writing a book about hot dogs right now so I can tell you anything you want to know. It's okay. all nasty. <laughs> disgusting. And you guys it here. She's writing a book about hot dogs it's and you're going to learn a thing or two. Little disgusting. Freaks love hot dogs famously. They yeah. They would. That These sounds little like them. freakazoids that sounds love like them. little hot dogs. Well, they love those so doggy dogs. <laughs> Munch <It's>... them down. <laughs> so that Joey Chestnut's out there. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Joey Chestnut. What a complicated historical figure. <laughs> We in a America, lot of complicated we have a lot of hot dogs. We've got some problems, but the Statue of Liberty is wow. really It's very Whoa. possible that I misunderstood the prompt, and I no. only brought the most horrific shit in the world. But no, I, this is correct. No, it's really aliens, aliens have to know, to know what we're I want like. The, I want them to know things that I like, but then I forget that what I like is generally very horrific and gross. No, no they this, have to see it. Beautiful. They have to be exposed. If they ever come here, mm-hmm. I don't want it. Imagine the shock if they right. found out we weren't um, flowers and rainbows. Yeah, it's they true. Don't rainbows want. are actually kind of rare. They would be surprised to yeah, find out. Why. Like, they would think it would just be all the like, time. <laughs> they they want us for who we really are, and our stars would, and everything. And I'm glad that they're surpri- they they won't be surprised to see how just how large. Imagine the they come and they, they find out for I mean, the first time. <laughs> I mean, what? They might run their UFO right into it. They wouldn't realize how big it is. <laughs> They'd be like, "That thing's small. You can land right next to it." Uh, and no, 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 no. That is so, this is unrelated. I know we have to wrap up, but there, I, um, there's a scene in the new Minions movie where the Minions <laughs> hijack a plane. Mm-hmm. I thought that was so shocking, and then I was like, "Am I old that I was still like, oh, is it too soon to show the Minions hijacking <laughs> a plane? Minions shouldn't be hijacking planes. They straight up hijack because to me, a one, plane. they're babies. Right. Babies shouldn't be hijacking." Yeah, yeah. Eggs, that's correct. Yeah. They did, and they don't have pilot's license. That's a joke made. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, and, and I don't know when they would have been trained. No, there's they passengers were not, on the plane. I imagine. Right. Oh, Danger. they almost crashed the plane. I mean, it's they don't know. They don't know how to drive a plane, and it is a really funny scene. And mm-hmm. I was laughing, <laughs> but then afterwards, I was like, "Wait a second! They let the minions hijack a plane." Yeah. And now, and people were like, it's been enough time. We can show the minions hijacking a plane. <laughs> it's <laughs> been enough time, yeah, barely. We do uh, comedic hijackings now of planes. <laughs> I guess I guess we're doing that now. Jeez. It was, I guess we have to hijack a plane as a little joke now. <laughs> <laughs> the minions, well, I guess we have to wrap up. We don't need to start, oh my anyway. God. <laughs> don't need to start my review of the minions movie. Not EJ when talking about it? the minions you again. <laughs> oh, I saw the minions movie. My partner afterwards said, you were yelling the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I apparently I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was really good. Vocally like, whoa, no, <laughs> not that. And none of the people so like funny. In, in three rows ahead of you were just like, <laughs> <laughs> every time you went, whoa. They, <laughs> we're watching the minions. <laughs> Things are like, gonna be shocking. It's like a dad yeah. with like his son <laughs> being like, <laughs> <laughs> there's an adult behind us having an insane time. <laughs> I brought my mom to see minions idiots and that she. <laughs> But this Minions movie takes place in the 70s, and my mom was thrilled. She kept mm-hmm. leaning over and being like, oh, my God, Joni Mitchell. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, it was made for, I think it was not made for me. No. Because it's Mm-mm. not, well, the time I'm alive and I'm not yeah. four. <laughs> Which is why I think it's <laughs> But it was, like, made for four-year-olds and People, old people if, yeah. who are alive in the 70s. It's a really – which are who are too old to be having young children now. So I don't really understand the motivation behind that. It's a grandma-grandpa movie. Oh, that's true. I assume. I don't know. I just coined that term. It's a grandma-grandpa grandma, grandpa movie. You guys are here. <laughs> if you're a grandparent and you listen to this podcast, that's wild. And, you, <laughs> and you've got to get down to the movie theater with your young grandchild to see the 70s version of The Minions. <laughs> Guess what? It was made for you, Grandma, Grandpa, <laughs> and your grandchild. <laughs> well, Wishing like Peter Frampton jokes. I was like, "Who is this <laughs> what movie is for?" Going? I was like, "Wow, Peter Frampton!" <laughs> you old people listening to the podcast are going to have an incredible day with your four-year-old <laughs> granddaughter. Have an awesome time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Relive your youth <laughs> while your chi- grandchild goes through it for the first time. Um, <laughs> Isn't that the beauty of it all? <laughs> Who's your favorite minion? 
<laughs> like, they name? have personalities? Yes. They're they like do. the three stooges. They're, There's they're three, way only more three? than three, though. I was going to well, say, yeah, but like the three millions? main, like Kevin Stewart Bob. I feel like there I are stooges. Okay, so <laughs> I get them confused. Kevin has one eye or two. Stuart has one eye. Kevin is the tall one with two eyes. He's my favorite. Okay. Bob is the short one who acts like a baby. Yeah, and I can I tell by the way you said that thing about actually. Bob is that you, you <laughs> don't really mess with Bob like that. Yeah. Bob is for the kids. Bob isn't for me. Kevin He's is baby jokes, yeah. for me. Um, I respect that he's a born leader, but also he knows how to cut loose. He does. He does. <laughs> he gets funny sometimes. Yeah. Well, you're here for folks. <laughs> That's the episode of the podcast. You can't even tell the listeners where they can find you. Apparently at AMC, <laughs> watching the fucking minions. Most days of the week, Jamie's at the movies. You can catch me at City Walk anytime you want. <laughs> Seeing minions, uh, I'm with laser. Um, <laughs> whenever Sinespia does I, Tanya. Well, there you will find me. I will be there. <laughs> um, I, you can just find me online. Uh, you can uh, t- on Twitter at Jamie Loftus Help. Sorry, I just had an absolute meltdown yeah. getting to talk with someone about Kevin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she has so much more to say. <laughs> Twitter. I made uh, Twitter. Twitter. I'm tweeting about Kevin pretty frequently um, at Jamie Loftus Help, uh, Instagram at Jamie Curry Superstar. Kevin in the stories, not infrequently. Um, and then I host a bunch of podcasts. A lot of them are serious. A couple of them aren't. And um, you can kind of just you know roll the dice if you yeah. if you, you want. Don't know this about our listeners, but most of them have terminal degrees in their field. Oh, terminal? Yeah, the final oh, degree in that oh field. My, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them are terminally ill. Yeah. No, terminal degrees in their field. I, is that the right way is to that say it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Contact just came loose. Sorry, I'm Ooh. the only intellectual in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Except for what's listening. You guys knew I was right all I didn't along. Know terminal Ninja. degrees. It's I the last it. degree in your field. Like, Whatever it is. Because that depends. Well, it depends. It still could be any field. I guess is what I'm gathering. I don't know. I've never heard Doctor these words come out of anyone's mouth. your field means whatever your field is, you've gotten the, fir- the highest level of education in it. Uh huh. <laughs> so they're just like, well, might as well die. Like, no, is that- no, it's no. <laughs> so okay, what I'm going to so do is nothing to do with So when you're in an airplane terminal, you're like, I guess I have to die. I'm like, no, that's just what it's get. That's a word. Oh, I, think, like, I, I was thinking of it like terminal illness, not terminal yeah, like. Yeah, and I think it's just because terminal means there's an end, and yeah. so end, uh-huh. end of education, end of life, end <laughs> of. This airport end of to this, get to another end of this podcast. Honestly, wow! End of this podcast. This the is episode. the terminal. <laughs> <laughs> Our podcast is absolutely fucking terminal. <laughs> <laughs> you start using it as like a fun slang. Like this party's gonna be the terminal. Oh my god! <laughs> this podcast is terminal. You guys know what it is. <laughs> Five stars only. Nothing mean unless it's in the DMs. And <laughs> You can be bully us in the DMs. I don't care. Oh, my um, God. Me I and my wedding for sure, being like, this is my feelings, but sh- Just don't make it public. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, I think just say nice things publicly. And if you have something yeah. bad to say privately is the yeah. best option. If you need to say it. If you need to. And privately would be But before preferred. you write it, think, do I, does she need to hear it? Because it will right. I'm, but I'm. But here. does she? Oh. <laughs> This is it. I'm saying goodbye. You can cut this at any time. I literally said goodbye. That was a HeadGum original.